Hi everyone, I've been challenged by Soccer Jock 1111 to uh, give a reason why the Big Bang Theory philosophically defeats the theory of intelligent design. Okay, um, <laughs> I'm happy to accept this challenge, but I do so uh, with uh, a few um, reservations, or whatever you want to call it. Basically, I don't understand why I need to philosophically defend a scientific theory. Why can't I defend it scientifically? You say that the Big Bang Theory has not been scientifically proven, or proven to the extent that it merits scientific uh, endeavors. Uh, bullshit. Uh, look it up. It has been proven to a ridiculous extent. Uh, there is no other theory that explains the cosmic background radiation, there's no other theory that explains the observable metric expansion of space, there is no other theory that explains um, the observable uh, abundance of light elements in the universe, the amount of helium in the universe, which is explained by nuclear fusion being able to occur anywhere in space in the early stages of the universe when it was really hot and dense. Uh, I, look, it, it, it is absolutely ridiculous to say that it has not been proven to the extent that it merits scientific endeavors. Look it up. The only way you can say something like that is if you don't know what you're talking about. Now, contrast this with the theory of intelligent design. I, I find it difficult to say that without laughing because it's not a theory. It's just a stupid idea. And there's a difference between a theory and a stupid idea. You see, a theory explains observations, supports the explanations with evidence, and it, the explanations are actually testable. You see, it, it goes if this is true, then the consequences would be what? Okay, let's look and see if we see that. Intelligent design. Uh, do you know what intelligent design even says? I can sum up the whole theory for you. It goes like this. Something did it somehow. Yeah, the You then add, oh, well, this something must have been intelligent. Why? Well, because uh, uh, Well, because I ask for evidence and you go, well, uh, well, j just look at the trees. How, how do you know they were intelligently designed? Well, uh, if you see a watch in the sand, uh, but if the sand was also intelligently designed, how would you be able to distinguish? No, you can distinguish between the intelligently designed and the natural. But you're asserting that the natural is also intelligently designed. So you have no way to distinguish between one and the other, and therefore you cannot say that even the watch is intelligently designed. You can just say the watch is there. And the sand is there. You cannot point to any difference between them, because you think all of it is intelligently designed. Uh, so, um, yeah, intelligent design in a nutshell is something did it somehow. There's no explanation offered. Come on, at least if you're honest and call it creationism, you can offer an explanation in the sense of, you know, God did it with magic. But seeing as you can't say God and you can't say magic, you have to say something did it somehow. And that's not an explanation. 
But even if I let you say God did it using magic, that's not a testable explanation. It makes no predictions. Now, of course, what I've done now is I have shown you scientifically how the Big Bang Theory defeats the theory of intelligent design. I don't know if I've shown you philosophically, because frankly, I don't know what you mean by that. One reason why the Big Bang Theory defeats the theory of intelligent design philosophically, well, there is a Big Bang Theory. There is no theory of intelligent design. Feel free to respond to this. I would appreciate a video response because it's always more fun. But um, like I said, I'm not going to have a discussion in the comment sections because it just turns into a mess due to the character limitations. But um, whatever. Feel free to get back to me. See ya.